Hey everybody, it's Matt, your travel sidekick here. Today, we are going to Washington, D.C. Now, if you live close enough, like a four to maybe a five hour drive, um, DC is not exactly an expensive weekend. You can make it a little bit cheaper. Hey guys, be sure to stay tuned to the very end to see how much a budget weekend would cost you in Washington, DC. We just got here, had some lunch, uh, drove up from Fredericksburg, and uh, here's what we're gonna do. So uh, I've already bought my Metro ticket. But what you do is you come over here, uh, you figure out where you wanna go. So we're gonna go to the Smithsonian, and it tells you it's off peak hours, $3.10. By the way, parking at the Metro on weekends is uh, free. So uh, you don't that's a less expense. You don't need to drive into DC. Uh, there's no parking there anyway. So, um, and what you do, you just come over and follow the directions here and you can pay with credit card and uh, you get one of these nifty little Metro cards. And uh, now we're off to DC. In just a short 15 20 minute metro ride we are now at the smithsonian uh, metro station going up the escalator and just a block away from the smithsonian you will get to the national mall that big grassy area in between uh, the Capitol Building and the Washington Monument. All right, made it to the National Mall here. As you can see the uh, the Capitol Building behind me, and uh, just keep turning around. You see the the Washington Monument. This is the uh, center of the nation's capital. All right, we have made it down to the Washington uh, Monument now. Because since COVID, I don't know if the Washington Monument has opened back up for tourism yet. But one thing you need to know is that uh, the tickets, they're free, but they go very quickly. You'll want to be in line by 7 a.m. if you want a ticket to get up to the, uh, the top of the, the Washington Monument. Really cool views. Of, you get to see all of D.C. And so if you can get up that early, I highly recommend doing that. Uh, that won't be something you'll regret there. So... Uh, we're gonna miss that this time oh. But one thing I couldn't help to notice is uh, Can you see the line of food trucks behind me? There are tons of them It's Crazy and I don't know Maybe if you could comment down below has it always been like that or is this uh, a new thing where they just line up like looks like 50 uh, food trucks so if you come down here, you should have no problem finding food. As before, there weren't too many restaurants down towards the Masonians and the, the National Mall and all the monuments. But I think it's pretty cool that they've uh, brought food down here. So uh, it's right in front of the uh, Washington Monument. Since YouTube has not come out with smell vision yet, I do want to tell you that uh, uh, the smells coming from these food trucks are amazing. So. Uh, don't eat before you come down here. Check these out. All right, so the Washington Monument is currently closed to the, the visitors. So, so I know that starting in May of 2021, they're going to uh, start reopening the Smithsonian Museums, which uh, I was hoping to get to see this weekend, but you know, they just haven't opened them yet. And so uh, that's something that we can have to look forward to. Bikes and scooter rentals are available. All right, from the Washington Monument, it does look like a short walk. <laughs> It's not a short walk to the White House. It's actually pretty far. So you see, we're maybe halfway, but you can't really get too close to it nowadays. So I got the Washington Monument and just check out, see where the President of the United States lives. The 
World War II memorial is located between the Washington Monument and the Reflection Pond. It is dedicated to the Americans who served in the war. This monument opened in April of 2004. Okay, that was the World War II Memorial. Now I'm taking a walk along the Reflection Pond for the uh, Washington Memorial, and we are going to the Lincoln Memorial. That's actually one of my favorite ones here in DC. All right, made it down the walk, the uh, Reflection Pond, and now we're getting ready to head up all those steps to the Lincoln Memorial. All right, just a 10 to 15 minute walk from the Korean War Memorial is the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial, which is a pretty neat looking uh, memorial. So uh, enjoy. I loved reading the quotes here. My favorite was, Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. Well, that's just about going to do it for today. Head about over to the uh, food trucks. Going to get some food and then uh, going to hit the remaining monuments tomorrow. All right, it is day two of Washington, D.C. Before we go on, I want to talk accommodations. So, if you could stay in a hotel in the DC area, it is gonna cost you a ton of money. Um, not to mention, if you're driving, then it will cost you an additional, let's say, 40 to $50 just to park your car at a hotel. So, what I wanna uh, talk about is some alternate locations to stay. The Metro makes it easy to not have to pay so much to go to DC. Uh, I stayed uh, this time in Alexandria. <clears throat> And I believe the hotel was about $80. Um, and we were near the Eisenhower uh, Yellow Line Metro Station. Now, I've stayed uh, over by Dulles Airport before, and it has cost me uh, <clears throat> less than $90 for uh, a hotel. Now, that's going to also depend on the season, um, whether or not you can get that same kind of deal. But you can typically pay less than $100. So why wouldn't you do that and save you know, DC hotel is going to cost you two fifty, three hundred dollars. So uh, you can save a lot of money. So another way that you can do it is um, use points at a hotel that's either in you know Alexandria, Crystal City, or even um, over by Dulles Airport. And uh, I've used points before and not paid a penny for my accommodations. But you know the points—that's for another video. We'll get to that soon. All right, just under a one mile walk from the Smithsonian Station uh, is the Jefferson Memorial. And uh, by the looks of it, they're doing quite a bit of work on it. But uh, we're gonna check it out, still open. 
to the public. Would have been quite a walk yesterday from where we were, so we just decided to hit it up today. And uh, yeah, let's go check it out. I have sworn upon the altar of God eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. You know something, that I've been to DC a bunch of times, but uh, I think this is the first time that I've been to the uh, Roosevelt uh, what is this called? Monument. Roosevelt Monument. So it's a really neat. It's got some quotes and things just like the uh, Jefferson Monument did and it's beautiful. It's a big space too. monuments early today so uh, took an extra trip to Chinatown all right so after eating at the Chinatown garden uh, it was good it was pretty much like your typical Chinese restaurant I give it like three and a half out of five um, <clears throat> It's a little pricey, but it is Sunday, so I guess you know you're paying the dinner prices for lunchtime as well. So uh, I think now we're gonna go to Arlington Cemetery. All right, so um, the blue line of the metro is not operating right now. Uh, I think it opens at the end of May. So what we have to do is there's a free shuttle. We take the yellow line. Uh, yellow metro line down to uh, the Pentagon and there's a free shuttle so we're going to take that over to Arlington Cemetery. All right so we went into Arlington National Cemetery. Uh, the entrance you have to have your ID to get in and it's like an airport screening. You have to take everything out. I actually had some drone batteries in my uh, bag. Here's a drone battery pack. I don't have my drone with me but uh, they I had some cords in there too so as a content creator you've got all your charging cords and all that kind of stuff and so they went through my bag but other than that it wasn't too bad this cemetery is truly a special place to visit so many men and women that served the united states lay to rest here including two presidents jfk is one of the presidents that's buried here with that eternal flame I got to catch the changing of the guard at the tomb of the unknown soldier. For the entire weekend, I spent a total of $113 for the weekend in DC. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe for future videos.